Green Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Old School, by Jeff Kinney. September, Saturday. Grown-ups are always talking about the good old days and how things were so much better when they were kids. But I think they're just jealous because my generation has all the fancy technology and stuff they didn't have growing up. Believe me, I'm sure when I have kids of my own, I, I'm i going to be the exact same way my parents are, are now. When I was your age, we used our legs getting around. Yeah, whatever, Paul. Mom's always saying that when she was younger. It was great because everyone in town knew everybody else and it was one big giant family. But that doesn't sound great to me. I like my privacy and I really don't need everyone knowing my personal build business. Howdy, neighbour. Mom says the problem with society these days is that everyone's got their nose in a screen and nobody takes the time to get to know the people who live around them. I don't really see eye to eye with Mom on that issue, though. Personally, I think a little separation is a good thing. Leave your your leaves are in my yard. Lol. Lately, Mom's been going around town with a petition to get people to stop using their phones and electronic gadgets for 48 hours. Let's unplug to reconnect. If electronics are cluttering our lives. Uh, let's put down our devices for a weekend and get to know one, of, one another. Who's in? Mom needs a hundred signatures before she can take the petition to the town hall, but she is having trouble getting people to put their names on it. I'm just hoping she doesn't give. I'm just hoping she gives up on this idea soon, because it's kind of exhausting for the rest of us to pretend that we don't know her. I really don't understand why Mom thinks we need to go backwards anyway. Well. From what I can tell, the old days weren't that much fun. If you think about it, you never see anyone smiling in those black and white photos. Smiling. Say cheese. In the old days, people were just a whole lot tougher than they are today. But human beings have evolved and now we need things like electronic toothbrushes and shopping malls and soft serve ice creams to survive. Bleep, boop, blop. I bet our ancestors would be pretty disappointed with the way we turned out, but once somebody invented air conditioning, there really was no turning back. We've got so spoiled that pretty soon we don't even have to leave our homes if we don't want to. Yes, burgers served. I said no mayonnaise. In fact, the way we're heading, headed, I'll bet a thousand years from now, human beings won't even have spines. Some people complain that all this technology has made us soft, but if you ask me, that's not necessarily a bad thing. There's all sorts of luxuries nowadays that make people's lives better. Take baby wipes, for example. People were use, using regular toil, toilet paper for hundreds of years. And then, all of a sudden, some genius came up with an idea that was a total game changer. What really amazes me is that it took so long for people to come up with the idea, I seriously can't believe the guy who invented the light bulb didn't see baby wipes coming. And who knows what crazy things someone's going to come up with next to make our lives easier. Whatever it is, though I'll be the first in line to buy it. But if mom had her way, we'd be living like people did before. There were 
computers and phones and baby wipes. And I really don't know what, I really don't want to imagine living in a world without baby wipes. Sunday. Days, Dad says that he, when he was growing up in the summertime, kids played outside all day until they got called for dinner at night. Ding, dingling, ding, ding. Squeal, squirt, squirt, squirt. Well, that, well, that's pretty much the opposite of my, of the way my summer went this year. I spent July and August at film camp, where all I did was watch movies and in an air-conditioned cinema for eight hours a day. The main reason I signed up for film camp was because I thought it would for people who were serious about movies like me. But I found out it was really just a place where my parents could dump their kids off for some cheap babysitting. Okay guys, that's the last of it that we're going to do tonight. But see you tomorrow to do some more reading.